The first interstellar object that has been recorded passing through our solar system is evidence that the interconnectedness that exists in the universe reveals a greater similarity between extraterrestrial worlds and our own than initially believed. It was the Span Stars Telescope in Hawaii that sighted this object in October 19, 2017. The trajectory of potentially catastrophic asteroids following unpublished path was completely exceptional, with this asteroid being the first one of its kind to be identified from space. It is an elongated cigar-shaped object crossing space, marking the first historical case of an asteroid traveling between the stars. Amuamua was the name selected for this interstellar visitor, whose unusual shape contrasts with the typical sphericity of most objects in our solar system. Surprisingly, a fast object crossed close to the Sun at speeds approaching 320,000 km per hour. Its thin, extended appearance raises questions, challenging the creative minds of humans to consider the possibility that it is a product of technology. Elon Musk argues that the hidden features of this object contain tantalizing information about life in other star systems. What do we understand about this mysterious host? Was a strange visitor a fragment of a destroyed planet? Or was it deliberately shaped and hurled towards our solar system by enigmatic forces of nature? Let's find out why its return is such of interest. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. The discovery of the object attracts the attention even of the SETI Institute, which joined the excitement by undertaking a cautious research for possible extraterrestrial radio transmissions. Oumuamua presents similarities to known asteroids that raise concerns about the eventuality of impacts on Earth and its civilization. In terms of appearance and other characteristics, it has similarities to these asteroids. However, what made this object unique is its extreme elongated shape with impressive dimensions of up to approximately 731 meters long by 7 meters wide, at least 10 times longer than its own width. In the past, astronomers theorized that, from time to time, objects ejected from forming rocky disks of distant planets might wander into our solar system as interstellar debris. These wanderers looked like comets as they approach the Sun, vaporizing and illuminating in the process. However, such cometary illumination is not observed in Naumuamua, and this is because it was only visible through powerful telescope with a wide range field of view, such as the Pan Stars Telescope. In fact, every 7.3 hours, Naumuamua undergoes drastic changes in brightness, suggesting that it is rotating around its short axis. The fact that it's a small asteroid can withstand this rotation without disintegrating implies that it must be made of a tough material, unlike the typical dirty snow that makes up most comets. The coloration of Amuamua is dark red, similar to moons in the outer regions of the solar system whose organic ice molecules have been altered by space radiation. The genesis of Amuamua's peculiar shape is still an enigma. Perhaps it was catapulted to extreme velocities by the force of a supernova that ejected from its parent star. This hypothesis was proposed by Dr. Meech. Another question that arose upon learning about this object was where it came from. Early on, astronomers were intrigued by the possibility that Amuamua originated from Vega, the brightest stars in the constellation Lyra, known for as the Briss disk. Using calculations, they estimated that the object would have traveled the distance from the star Vega to here in about 600,000 years. However, this probability has decreased due to the considerable changes in its trajectory. Oumuamua is thought to have made forays into a completely new star system when it entered our solar neighborhood at a speed comparable to that of other nearby stars. Although the possibility that has been wandering the galaxy for billions of years, observing a sky where stars appear to be isolated and self-contained, shining alone, is also not ruled out. 
This might suggest that the stories of this asteroid and its peers paint an entirely different perspective of the galaxy. Just as gold arises from the collision of neutron stars and vital elements such as oxygen and iron in our blood were formed in an ancient supernova explosion, Oumuamua also has its own history tied to distant past cosmic events. Considering the possibility of the timing of Oumuamua's potential voyage, it spends hundreds of thousands of years. Although it might seem like a significant duration in cosmic terms, in reality it is barely a blink of an eye. The Milky Way, our galaxy, has existed for 10 billion years. Therefore, the tiny Oumuamua could have sailed through about 20,000 star systems in the galaxy's lifetime. Despite being only a tiny fraction among the 200 billion stars that make up the galaxy, it represents a considerable number of stems in its cosmic passport. As a result of Oumuamua's scattering of dust and fragments, stars and planets in the galaxy have had their trajectories swamped and merged. This fact could suggest that the universe may be ultimately quite interconnected. According to predictions by other astronomers, Oumuamua will enter the Kuiper Belt around 2024 and cross its boundary by the end of 2025. It is estimated to reach its farthest point relative to Voyager around 2038, and it is expected to expand beyond 100,000 astronomical units in 2196 before returning to be at least 1,000 astronomical units near the Sun. Therefore, depending on how we define the solar system boundary, we will be able to determine when Aumuamua actually crosses it. However, since Aumuamua has been beyond the reach of astronomical observation, scientists are currently making the most out of the information they obtained over the course of a few months in order to understand as much as possible about this mysterious intergalactic intruder. However, astronomers and scientists observe a peculiarity in Oumuamua. Its trajectory did not follow the normal expectations of a moving object, but evidenced an acceleration that could not be attributed to gravitational influence alone. This pointed to the presence of additional forces controlling its motion. Dr. Meech argues that there were several possible causes for this acceleration in the direction in which it was moving. At least six of these possible causes of acceleration were examined, but several were ruled out in the process as they required highly unusual conditions to be possible, such as the need for the object to be less dense than the aerial gel, or that the magnitude of acceleration they generated did not match what was observed. Eventually, the scientists concluded that the most likely explanation was the cometary outgassing since this phenomenon is common in comets. When a comet approaches the sun and heats up, the ice on its surface sublimates directly from the solid to the gaseous state, a process known as outgassing. This process results in an outgassing that exerts a force on the comet, pushing it off course due to gravitational factors and altering its velocity and rotation. This additional momentum causes a change in the comet's direction and orientation. Compared to comet motions, the displacement of Aumuamua was not unusual in terms of power. Dr. Mitch explains that although the dust released from Aumuamua was perceived to be remarkably low, this was in agreement with observed comet behavior. As the intensity of a comet's outgas increases, it tends to release larger dust particles. When gas emerges from a comet, it is common for it to drag surface dust with it in the process. We'll be on the lookout for more news before Oumuamua visits us again in 2024. Let us know what you think in the comments box and remember to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one.